I said to Nuki, how can you expect me to wear the same coronet two evenings running? <laughs> <laughs> you would be the most beautiful woman in any room without a coronet, your majesty. Nonsense, Anna. My lovely niece, Irina, is ten times prettier than I am. You will make someone a wonderful wife soon, Irina. I don't think... Yes, who will it be? Who's the lucky man? Don't tease the poor girl, Anna. She will find the right man in time. We all have more urgent problems to worry about. If the workers' council has its way, there will be no more Tsar, no more royal court. Do you know, one of my footmen refused to fetch me some fresh grapes yesterday. Said it was not one of his contractual duties. I mean, honestly. Is that my poor little Alexi? Anyway, so I told him. If he cuts himself again, we may never stop the bleeding. Our only son. Ah, here he is. Mama, Mama, it won't stop. He's hurt himself with a pencil, the stupid boy. Here's my handkerchief, my poor love. It is not your fault. You can't help it. Irina, will you go and send for Dr. Lazaver? Of course, Auntie Alex. Lazaver? He's utterly useless. I went to him with my flat feet last week and he was completely unable to repair the arch. Not a clue. Oh, ah. do be quiet, Anna. Ah. You are making ah. Alexi even more ah. upset. Ah. No, the man for the job ah. is Rasputin. Who's he? Rasputin is an extraordinary man. He is a staretz, a wise man of the cloth, but he's also a faith healer. Nonsense. I've seen it with my own eyes. Let me fetch him here. Oh, very well. Don't worry, Alexei. Someone will help you soon. Ah, Dr. Lazaver. Good of you to come so quickly. It's Alexei. Just a small cut, I think, but being a haemophiliac. Let me have a look with my magnifying glass. Ah. I see. I see. Ah, I think ah, he has cut his finger. Brilliant. Fortunately, I have something that will cure him. It has been invented in Germany, Your Majesty. It's a miraculous potion. It is called aspirin. It cures headaches and everything. In Germany, you say? I suppose it is worth a try. I'm sure I had some left. My wife did make off with quite a few. Ah, here they are. Still one left. Is that all you've got? I'm not eating that. Oh, yes, you are, my boy. Now, let's get this bandage on. This is the Sorette's Rasputi, Your Majesty. What a strange name. Tell me, Mr. Rasputin, can you heal my poor boy? He suffers from haemophilia, just like my grandmother, Queen Victoria of England and so many others in our poor family. So, can you cure him? Most certainly. Most certainly, Your Majesty. That's what you should say. Never mind that, Anna. What do you know of medicine? Mr. Rasputin, the doctor has prescribed aspirin. Aspirin? That will not stop the blood flowing. Quite the opposite. There are no drugs that work. But I shall give Alexei the power to control it with his own mind. This is nonsense, Your Majesty. Let me show you. I will take the crucifix from around my neck. Watch the crucifix, Alexei. You are feeling very sleepy, Alexei. So tired that you cannot keep your eyes open. You are powerless to resist. You are falling into a deep trance. There. Now, Alexei, you are concentrating on your little finger and the blood that is coming out. The blood is slowing to a standstill. You can feel it stopping. Now there is no blood at all. When I click my fingers, you will open your eyes again. Mama, what happened? It is all right, my child. The kind man has stopped your finger bleeding. Now. Off you go and play with your sisters. But I haven't quite finished. That was remarkable, Mr. Rasputin. It is just Rasputin. I told you he is a remarkable man, Your Majesty. He has helped me find the path of true holiness. Really? And what does that entail? <laughs> I hardly like to say. We are all sinful creatures. God has given each of us our sins as a test. We must discover our sinful nature and expose ourselves to the deepest of temptations. It is only through experiencing our sins and our deepest desires 
that we can hope not just to sublimate them, but to purge ourselves of them and become pure and holy. Golly! I am sure that the Zaritza has no such sins. We are all sinful. But some of us have not faced temptation yet. Look out, it's a czar. What was all that noise, dear? Poor Alexei has cut himself again, Nicky. And who is this unkempt man? His name is... Res you know we must be so careful when we let the tradesmen in, Alex. There are Bolsheviks and revolutionaries everywhere. That is why we check for reds under the bed each night. I am no tradesman. I am Rasputin. I can see I am no longer welcome here. I will attend to my flock. You know where I am if you need me. Remember my words. Nicky, that was very rude. We don't have time for all this, my love. You know that we must make plans to travel to England for Uncle Edward's funeral. Must we go? It will be a ghastly affair. And it is such a long way from St. Petersburg. Uncle Edward wasn't such a bad king. Perhaps I can give young George some advice as he takes up the reins. <laughs> yes, Nicky. You do just that. Come on, Anna. You must help me pack. 